Austin and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Gogh. Can he bring it to ya? Creature features and all creatures. Where's the tall one? Hmm. Tangella has relayed to me that Mr. Livingston's appearance tonight has been hindered due to his attempt to purchase a replacement kitchen mandolin from Sur La Tab in Corda Madera. He rang them prior to departing to see if they indeed truly had the item in stock. He was told by an enthusiastic clerk named Bruce that there was one on hand. Upon arrival, said clerk discovered the inventory was off by one. After waiting for the afternoon delivery lorry to bring the store his much ballyhooed mandolin, Livingston now finds himself delayed in return traffic due to an apparent Rod Stewart rock concert taking place at a venue not very far from this estate. Thank you. You smell like gunpowder. Welcome to Creature Features. I'm your host, Vincent. With me is the beautifully fetching and dangerously destructive Miss Tangella. Not with me, as mentioned prior, is my steam butler, Mr. Livingston, who likely would prefer to be bogged down in traffic over standing on this spot and listening to Tangella's silent insults. But enough about the denizens of this manner of dubious repute. Let's talk about tonight's film, shall we? Because this evening we shall present a pair of thespians that have never yet graced the silver screen of creature features during our entire time in broadcast. Never once have we featured a man named Abbott, nor a bloke named Costello. And at this point, you, our dear viewers at home, must be stirring in your seats in excitement and anticipation of our pending broadcast of Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. Please curb your enthusiasm, because tonight we shall present a ghost movie starring that same dynamic duo, and the title of that film is The Time of Their Lives. This movie begins in the times of the American Revolutionary War, or as we Brits might humorously say, the skirmish of the ungrateful Yanks. In any case, two ghosts from that time attempt to retrieve a letter written by George Washington that proves they were not traitors to the revolution and... Tangella, can you please nicely request to Agatha that she refrain from vacuuming the parlor during our broadcast? Please do so nicely. Onward. This film from 1946 is one of the forgotten gems made by Abbott and Costello. In fact, Bud Abbott once said that this was his favorite film and because he was the butt of most of the jokes instead of Lou Costello. And while we typically don't show comedies on our program, we think you'll be most entertained by this particular entry. Especially given that the holiday Independence Day, or as we Brits like to humorously say, Treason Day, is soon approaching. No guests tonight, and it appears no Livingston either, but I've seen Tracy the plumber roaming around, so perhaps we'll have her sit in the guest seat for a moment. Maybe we'll have Agatha sit in as well, provided that Tangella didn't injure her enough to send her to hospital. So don't go away, for this to be another night of Revolutionary War fright, Right here on Creature Features! Stay tuned! Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Oh, 
with the Creature Features show. You've just tuned into it. And, you know, you've picked a good time to come on to the program tonight because Tangela is winding up wires on her dynamite. What are you doing, love? You know, she does this. She's, it's almost like braiding hair. The way she does her hair, she does the same thing with dynamite wires. Anyways, welcome to the show. We have a fun one for you tonight. No guests, but uh, I've got Tangela, who's, who's nice sometimes and then uh we'll bring out andrew and we'll bring out uh, tracy the plumber and others so uh we'll have fun and we're going to watch a wonderful film called abbott and costello go to something no no they travel in time no it's called the time of their lives and uh this was done in 1946 which means it was after the war right so it's not a war film so don't worry about that but it's a, it's a civil no it's a revolutionary war film right so it's a bit of a war film but not that kind of war that you typically see in 1946 in any case uh, we're gonna have fun and uh, no livingston tonight he's he's stuck in traffic but he did ring us and he and he said that the road looks beautiful it's crowded but it's beautiful so he's having fun listening to classical music in a mercedes benz so it's not so bad i think he'd rather be doing that than sitting here tonight right let's see so uh, anyways, let's start the film. And then when we come back, uh, we're going to have uh, something. Tenzel is going to tell us a story when we come back, right? We'll see. All right. See you on the other side of the break. Seventeen eighty. He's a tinkerer. If you were in seventeen eighty, Andrew, would you be a tinkerer? Possibly. Are you a tinkerer now? Is this what you do? Do you tinkle here in this manner? From time to time, you do tinker. Yeah, you know, I think it was a noble job, right? Yeah, because you work with tin. Tinkling tin or tinkering? A tinker, a man who tinkers. Oh, you said tinkle. He is a tinker in seventeen eighty. Welcome back to the show. We are watching The Time of Their Lives with Abbott and Costello. You know, that's a set of actors you don't need to introduce, right? You have to say, so uh, they're called Abbott and Costello and they do these things where they're funny and stuff. We just say Abbott and Costello and everyone knows what I'm talking about, right? Mostly. Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? I do. Right? I do. No, no, no. They were even famous in strange countries, you know, like Antarctica. Where, you know, the penguins know who Evan Costello are. So uh, anyways, welcome back to the show. Uh, I have Andrew with us. He is the home handyman, Handy Andy as we call him. And uh, what, what's new, Andrew? Mm. <clears throat> uh, I haven't been beat up yet. So, so you far know, it's been a she, good day. You saw this, this fiasco with uh, I, I Agatha. Did. So I dodged yeah, one. Yeah, no, no. Well, you know, the nice thing about Agatha is she can take, she sees the humor in the entire situation. Unlike you, who you, you get serious and you know if you just let it clobber you on the head now and then and laugh there'd be less of a problem now wouldn't there maybe yeah okay he's he's i, I you know i think he's got all the humor knocked out of him well i don't know what happened anyways uh, oh, you know like this happened. film though right yes it's not a bad film and you know if there's no color if you have not noticed Ooh. they forgot to put the color in this film can't they do that these days? I think. Put no, that's terrible. It looks like a cartoon if they do that. Mm. It's not right. No, no, no. So they, but they could have shot this in color, and do, they did not. They do they do that thing. by numbers? Paint by numbers. A color by numbers. No, I don't know how the technology works, mm. but I imagine it's got something to do with numbers if it involves computers. I don't know. He confuses me. He confuses you. Confuse me more than Tangela, which is. Rather difficult to do. All right, let's get back to this movie. And when we come back, uh, we're going to do some letters. And uh, you know she's going to kick you out of that chair for the letters part. She's That's gonna, fine. She, she, she's hoping there's a package of gifts. And this, I, I haven't the heart to tell her there's not. Oh, just so long as she doesn't actually kick me out of the chair. That's left to be seen. Mm -hmm. Anyways, see you on the other side of the break. Stick around.
Welcome back to the show. It's that letter time and I, I don't have Livingston. <laughs> I've got Miss Agatha in her place. You, you've never done letters, have you? No, I haven't. Well, we're going to have to teach her how to do letters because uh, <laughs> we, we've got uh, the, the Surgeon General here working on a piece of body and you're the <laughs> only speaking person I have in my <laughs> site. So all you have to do is pass me a mail and say who it's from. And then I shall read it, and I shall pass it back to you. And then we'll just lather, rinse, repeat, right? All right, sounds good. All right, who do we got first? First, we have Carol from Roanoke, Virginia. Carol from Roanoke, Virginia. Yeah, she did not hurt you prior too much, did she, during the commencement? <laughs> she hit my funny bone. <laughs> yeah, she's got <laughs> such a good sense of humor. And this one, you know, I, I don't think she's as rough on her as she is on Andrew. Luckily for her, not for Andrew. All right, here we go. Uh, Carol Rona, Virginia says, I watch creature features on YouTube. I pick the movies I want to watch. I am disabled and I am at home all the time. My husband works and I see my daughter and grandsons occasionally. I watch Westerns too, but I really like the creepy movies and enjoy your show so much. I don't know if they are up to date or old shows. Tangela is funny. All right, let's work on this backwards. Tangela's not funny when she's cutting up corpses on my parlor table. Is she? You're the one that has to clean this up, right? <laughs> now, you, you must find some horrid things in her room. What's the most horrible thing you ever found in her room? <laughs> I'm not going to hear about this tonight. All right, so uh, I don't know if they're up to date or old shows. All our, uh, We have both. We have shows that are old. And then we have shows that are up to date. Like the one you're watching right now is the most up to date one, unless you watch it a year from now and then it will not be. So did that make sense to you? Yes. All right, it made sense to me as well. Um, and she also goes, uh, uh, I am at home all the time. My husband works and I see my daughter and grandsons occasionally. Well, you send a message to your daughter and grandsons that they have to go visit mum more often, right? That's right. You have to visit your mum. True. Right? Because, you know, mums don't last forever. Unfortunately, mine did. <laughs> yeah, she, she brings me all the time. She's, she's talking about, oh, I saw your show last night. I, I don't like those shoes you were wearing. Why don't you buy some proper shoes? That's what she does to me. All right. Thanks for writing, Carol. What do we got up next? Next, we have Carl Chisholm from Dayton, Nevada. Carl Chisholm. Now, that's is a British name. Oh my goodness, this is an entire novel. Look at this. I'm going to read quickly, Carl, because you're a long-winded man and I am not. Here we go. Dear Vincent Tangella and Mr. Livingston. You should just like curtsy like you're Mr. Livingston. There we go. Carl. Right, Mr. Livingston. <laughs> Along with most folks from the Bay Area, I watched the show when I was younger and I'm delighted <laughs> you all have brought it along while preserving the show's <laughs> themes and traditions. I'm now 70 years old and find it just as fun as it always was, maybe better in some areas, particularly the ability to binge watch whenever I want. And that's one thing with Bob, the previous show, he, he did not leave any videotapes behind. He did like 700 episodes and there's only like 13. Yeah, she doesn't know much about creature features, but she will soon. I'm up to episode 155, early 2020, and watch at least two or three episodes per day or so. Really easy to do as cold and windy the weather has been. You know, you should get out. You must be retired, bloke, if you can watch two episodes a day. You need to go fishing, right? Shouldn't, shouldn't retired men go fishing? Sounds about right. Well, someday when I retire, I'm going to learn to fish. Although she knows how to fish. I love the transition over the first 155 episodes in the introduction and theme song. Not really a fan of the Exodus style of music, but I think Zetro did you a solid on the music. It's also fun to watch the changes in the movie clips used since I began watching. The three of you have a noticeable chemistry, which I think is why the show has been so successful. Tangela is a mischievous delight. And she needs better hand tools to be completely delightful. Her antics, both angelic at times and the opposite of other times, make me laugh. Mr. Livingston's such a class act, and his stoic demeanor complements some of the ensuing chaos we've grown to appreciate. The addition of his beard has put his aura of sophistication over the top. Well done. 
Yeah. That's one thing we did not give you for this male thing, is a beard to wear. You know, I'm if okay we would have that. given you a beard, I, I think there's many viewers who would not have <laughs> made the connection that you were not <laughs> Mr. Livingston. The movies themselves are not always classics, but still fun to watch, and surprisingly, after being a horror movie buffer upwards of 60 years, there are a few I have either forgotten or have never seen. Since I've watched my share of Mystery Science Theater 3000 Elvira horror shows, I've seen my share. Also, at my age, I was able to see a lot of these movies when I was a kid in the theaters, so the nostalgia is precious. Finally, Vincent, great job. Not only as the host holding the show together for two hours as a writer, but you're very witty, funny, and compliment the general feel of the show. And look at this face. See, when she makes this face, she agrees with me completely. That's what that <laughs> face means. Although I know little of your previous band, your persona fits the show, another reason for its success. So keep up whatever you're doing, it's working. In conclusion, you've captured lightning in a bottle. Enjoy it. I know I will. Well, thank you, Carl. Uh, Dayton, Nevada. I've never heard of Dayton, Nevada. I, Dayton, Ohio, right? Right. Dayton, Nevada. Right. I have to go visit sometime. Sounds Maybe I up. can go hang out with Carl and we can watch an old episode of the show. Last <laughs> one. From Hugo in Denmark. Hugo in Denmark. You know, I, I think most of the gentlemen in Denmark are named Hugo. <laughs> right? I don't know. Hi from Denmark. I, uh, this is concerning to you. I need your attention on this letter. I will ask if Tangela will go on a date with my son. He has a lot of money. He is easy to scare and gaslight. Love your show. Hugo Hendrik Rasmussen. That's how you say that, right, Rasmussen? I think so. What a name. You know, he should, he should be an author. <laughs> no, he should write a book about his... His gullible and scarable son. <laughs> right, that'd be good, right? And that is it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter of your own, send it to the address you see here by email. Or if you'd like to send something in the mail, use the post by using this address. We will be uh, right back soon with somebody from this household. But let's first get back to the time of their lives. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching the time of their lives happening in Casella 1946. And I've been joined by the wonderful Tracy Plummer. Tracy the Plummer. Because she fixes the things that Andrew cannot fix, which seems to be everything these days. A lot of things he can't fix. No. Well, you know, I think his heart is there, but I think he just likes ringing you up and having you come up and visit. I have pondered that, if right. that's what he's doing. Yeah, no, I think he's going to ask you on a date soon. Be, make him take you someplace expensive. Be nice, right? In and out burger. No, have him take you to Chez Louis. Oh. You know, the hors d'oeuvres cost more than a steak at the, the Happy Steak, so it's a good place make to it go. Worth it. Anyways, uh, time of their lives in this film. Do you see they uh, they are ghosts? They are well ghosts. Well, they were thrown in the well. That's right up my alley. I know. Well, I was going to ask, you worked on wells before, right? I have worked on wells. I have never found a body in a well, but my wells don't work with buckets. There's a lot of piping and mechanics. Oh, Very complicated. Course. No, it's a, well, we have a well out here, right? Yes. And we don't have like the bucket kind. We've got the pipe kind and there's motors and cylinders involved. There right? is. I'm always worried what Tangella might put in the wells, though. So. No, we, we'll have to watch for that, won't yes. we? No, that uh, would not be good. I don't think she'd do it here. I think she'd go down to John Provost's house. That would be a good plan. And put, no, well, not a good plan for John Provost. No, but more work for me. You know, he's in Europe now. You know, she could poison as well. Well, we're going to have to watch for that. Anyways, uh, I was speaking with you during the break, and you said that you've been observing toilets and bathrooms in film. A cinema. lot of, yes, 
horror films. Right. Bathrooms tend to be a place where a lot of scary things happen in horror films. So I'm thinking The Shining, where Jack is breaking through the door. There's that, and there's the green bathroom where the beautiful lady is sitting in the bathtub. But and she's not so beautiful, yeah, is she, in The Shining? Not. Right, right, all right. So there's two items in The Shining involving bathrooms. Yep. Right. Well, what else? What name Psycho. Number? Hitchcock's Psycho. 1960s. Oh, in the Psycho. In the shower. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, there's something scary about bathrooms. There is, right? and you feel content. And so, when you watch a film where something scary is happening in your safe place, it freaks you out a little bit. And a safe place would be the loo. The loo. Right. The or the shower room. or the yes. bathtub. Now, imagine in the tub with only armed with rubber ducks, and then some psychopath comes in with a knife. Yeah, squeak, squeak, it's not going to no, cut it. No, it would not work. All right, any others? Um, arachnophobia, the spiders. I don't remember that one. Oh, it's a good one. Well, spiders, spiders on are the scary toilet. Anywhere. They are, and right. in the bathroom shower. It oh, freaks. there was a shower scene. Yes, oh. yes. Of course, Nightmare on Elm Street, when Nancy's in the bathtub. I don't remember that and either. The things they made like out. 50 of those films. They are. This oh, is there's the a hand. No, that's right. I remember yes. that scene. The hand comes yes. out. Oh, right. Yeah. So I, I think I think you should do a, a documentary called Spooky Loos. That could be a series. Spooky Loos, where you show all the toilet bits in all the films. Yes. Right? In the outhouse, yes. Yeah, that's amazing. We have a future uh, horror film producer-director here in Tracy the Plumber. Anyway, so I'm going to keep you up for another segment okay but let's get back to this film time of their lives 1946 this is a good movie just stick around maybe you don't like comedies like this one see you soon bye Hi, this is Rosalie Davis. My city is Lombarda. Hi, Vincent Livingston and Tanzella. Um, I love your show. Keep going on with Tanzella with no talking and uh, stuffed animals. And I like her hair. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Welcome back to Creature Features. We're watching the time of their lives. You like this film, right? It's a good film. I love yeah. ghost films. Ghost films are good, especially friendly, happy, silly ghosts. Yes, because the yeah. scary ones scare me and then I have trouble sleeping at night. No, we don't want you to have trouble sleeping. Not tonight. Although most of our viewers at home enjoy that aspect yes. of our show. No, Sometimes we frighten them. Like that time we had the, the one with Trilogy of Terror and the little doll that runs around with a knife. I don't like dolls. You don't like dolls? I hate dolls. Like, you've always hated dolls? Always hated dolls. They freak me out. Even as a little girl? You hated dolls. What would you play with as a little girl? Plastic horses and skateboards. Oh, that's right. Andrew's telling me you skateboard. Yes. And you still do this? I'm a skateboarding plumber. Well, 
that's that's peculiar. But the actual skateboarding part, you can do it without falling off. Yes, and I you're can good. Do that. I'm not great. I don't want to break my hip, no, but I'm, you're good. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty wonderful. Good. Right. So, what, do you do you like go to those skate parks where they have the? Mm-hmm. Healdsburg. Sebastopol. Oh, nice. Have good skateboard have, parks. Right, right. Yeah. So, so the, the, these 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 young gentlemen who do it, do they look at you and say, "My goodness, a plumber can skateboard"? They do. They do. They do. Right, right. I intimidate them a little bit being a chick. Oh, mm -hmm. right. No, that can and be old. a thing. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I mentioned there's young women there as well, right? Not a lot. Not a lot. No. Yeah. But some. You're breaking the 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 glass ceiling of. Of skateboarding. I try. Right, right. So uh, this film, um, they are now in 1946, right? Mm-hmm. And this house uh, apparently has been remodeled, rebuilt, and uh, they're looking for the letter. And uh, you know, I I saw this movie once, long ago, and I don't remember if they find the letter or not. And don't you tell me if you know. But if you don't know, do you think they're going to find it? Yes. Right. That would I make sense. Know. You know, that would be a happy ending. And I think they usually have a happy ending, so. I like not, happy endings. Let's not give away anymore. All right, off we go. Back to the times of their lives. And uh, when you come back, uh, I, I don't know what we're going to do because I don't have a guest tonight. But I've got better guests than no guests, right? Yes. It's like multi-guest night. See you soon. Angela, did you put your dogs out like Mr. Vendall asked? What a good girl. Store.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature Accessories. Welcome back to the show, my friends. We are watching The Time of Their Lives. I'm watching it with Miss Tangella because she's she's she likes this film. She likes the old stuff, you know. That's one thing I, I, that's unique about her. You'd think she'd like the new movies and, and all that crazy new stuff. She likes the old stuff, like the black and white. I don't, I don't think she has all the receptors in her eyes for color, right? Do you? No. I think she, maybe she does. Anyways, uh, so the film, uh, they are doing seances. And yeah, she's been involved in seances. She's, you know, she, she brings back the dead in two ways. She brings them out of the ground with a shovel and then she also brings them to a seance table sometimes. But, you know, she doesn't talk to them. So, you know, these ghosts show up and they're like, hey, all right, you've summoned me. Hello, I'm here. And she says nothing to them. So they just leave. It's, it's, it's really the most boring seance one can attend because, you know, the, the, the medium is like, it's a, you're not a medium, you're a small, right? She's, she's a small medium at large. So, uh, the, uh, the uh, film is good. We're going to get back to that in a moment and finish it up. But uh, Tangella, uh, what is the status of Mr. Livingston? So she's explained to me that Mr. Livingston was caught in traffic and he took a phone call from a friend and decided to go into a pub instead to have uh, a nightcap, you said? A nightcap. 
So I suppose he's going to be back uh, after the program ends. But, you know, that's all right. We covered everything without him. In fact, you know, he could just stay there, right? Because, you know, we've got, uh, we, we've got Agatha to read the mail for us. And, uh, yeah, and she helps me with the intro. So I think we're all right. All right. What do you say we finish up this film? All right. We're going to wrap up this film. And then we'll come back. Uh, we're all going to say goodbye to you. And then that will be the night. So uh, stick around. See you on the other side of the credits. Don't go away before the movie's over. Bye. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. And so ends the time of their lives. Do you, you like this one? I knew she'd like this one. But what about the ending, though, with the whole Washington close for Washington's birthday? That was somewhat rather silly, was it not? My kind of luck. Your kind of luck. All right. Well, uh, anyways, this movie is fun. I don't know if we'll be showing any more Abbott and Costello's because I'll distribute it. This is the only uh, Abbott and Costello film that uh, he could get. So, you know, maybe <laughs> next time uh, we'll... We'll see. All right, well, so much for those two. And, uh, oh, wow. Well, Tangela, I, I need him tomorrow, so don't beat him too much. Yeah, this is why we have to phone you. Because, you know, he's, he's disabled most of the time because of Tangela and her, your hammer in this case. It's, you know, if I might make a suggestion, don't give her any more tools because she'll she'll misuse them and she might break them on his head you know, then you're out of tool anyways that's about it uh what are you up to next Miss Tracy? um trying to figure out a 1946 crane toilet it is quite crane the puzzle toilet. putting it back together so right now that's kind of what i'm working on so what do people bring you broken loose and say please reassemble this for me there's some nice antique loose out there oh yes yeah. Well, I imagine, you know, on eBay, you can make... Have you seen this thing called eBay? It's new. Yes. You put things on and you sell, right? She she wanted to put corpses on eBay and they told her, no, it's not appropriate. We do not do corpse sales on... You should start your own eBay and maybe you could call it Seabay for corpse, right? I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, we will be back next week with uh, hopefully a real guest. I mean, not that you're bad, but, you know, we can only talk about toilets for so long True. before it becomes, you know, a bit long a wash. The tooth. Yeah. But uh, next week we'll have somebody else. I'm not too sure who it is, and we'll have another film. This one will be in color, right? Because I prefer color. And uh, we'll have all kinds of fun. So you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Have a wonderful 4th of July Independence Day, Treason Day. And uh, we shall see you next week. Have fun, and don't forget, we love you. So, uh, Tracy. Yes. You know, this thing with the tools, I'm, I'm somewhat rather glad that uh, there was no tools in there that she would use upon me. Well, I could go get the hedge clippers.